Did you watch the final last night? My favorite singer won. Oh, I love him too. He not only sings well, but also shows perseverance when he encounters difficulties in the contest. Yeah, he got booted after his initial performance in the audition, but he did not give up. He then tried at another two auditions. He had barely survived the third audition and finally got a chance to advance in the contest. Fortunately, in the third audition, he has won popularity among the audience. And that's when I started to notice him. Me too. Before he made the top three, I was so nervous. I just fear that he might be knocked out. Yeah, there's so many excellent candidates out there. Who knows which one will make it to the final? Absolutely. That's why when he entered the final, I was so excited. He really did a great job in the finale especially in the PK round. He performed so well that the majority of the audience cast their votes for him. And the host announced that he won it all. Would you like to have a piece of cake? No, thank you. I'm on a diet. Why? You're not fat. I'm considering entering for the beauty contest this summer, so I must have a slender figure. Women of all shapes would be beautiful if they are self-confident. I'm afraid the judges do not think so. All the beauty contests are for slim girls only. Well, there's a beauty contest in Thailand just for fat beauties. How much do they weigh? All the beauties who entered the contest were over 80 kilograms. But I'm not fat enough to enter that contest. The air quality in this city is horrendous. The pollution levels are so high that we are not supposed to go outside with a face mask again. Exhaust fumes from vehicles cause a great deal of damage to the environment. On top of that, there are a few large chemical factories in the suburbs which are contributing to the high pollution levels in the water and the air in this city. As much as I love this city, I think I'm going to find a greener city to live in. Living in a polluted city like this just can't be good for my health. I know what you mean. However, there are so few places left that have not been affected by global warming. If it's not the pollution, then it's the natural disasters, deforestation, or the greenhouse effect. What is the greenhouse effect exactly? It's the gradual rise in the Earth's temperature. I see. So it's similar to global warming. They're related to one another, yes. I heard that some people in England are pleased with the fact that the climate is becoming warmer because it's making their towns a more pleasant place to live. People joke about the benefits of the increase in temperature, but it's not all good news. They've been experiencing a lot of deadly storms there as well. People always seem to make jokes as a way to deal with unfortunate situations. I think if everyone pitches in, the world will be a better place. What did you do over the weekend? I went to Global Warming Rally. It was fantastic to be around so many people who care about the environment. Do you think there's anything we can do to reverse the damage that's been done already? It might not be possible to fix the problems that we've created for ourselves. But there are lots of things we can do to prevent more damages from happening. Like what? Well, we can use public transport instead of taking our cars for a start. What else can we do to protect the environment? If you do have to drive, you should make sure that your car runs on unleaded petrol. Also, your home should use sources of renewable energy. How about recycling? Does that actually help? Yes. You should take your glass, paper, plastic, cardboard, and tin cans to a recycling center.
What do you think the biggest worry for our future is? I think that the issue of great disconcern is having enough sources of clean water for everyone. I had no idea you were such as environmentalist before. To be honest, in order for the Earth to continue to be a habitable place, we're all going to have to become more interested in the environment. I think the biggest environment problem in my country is air pollution. Yes, I agree. The air here is much more polluted than in my country. Of course, my country is more agricultural and has much less industry. We have reduced emission of air pollutants in recent years, but cars are still a major source of them. Factories have become cleaner as stricter environment pollution law have been introduced. The problem is now on a truly global scale. I don't believe that any single country can do anything about it. I think you're right. There needs to be an international response to this problem. Bob, look at this sentence. Healthy eating is not about strict nutrition philosophies, staying unrealistically thin, or depriving yourself of foods you love. It's interesting, isn't it? I'd rather say it's confusing. What are those strict nutrition philosophies about? I believe they are careful calculations on proteins, vitamins, and calories. Probably, Rose. That must be the job of nutritionists. Healthy eating is not about depriving oneself of the foods one loves, so we are free to have whatever foods we love. It is unbelievable. Oh, believe it or not, I came across an article the other day saying that pizza is a healthy food. Seriously? Yes, I felt exactly the same way as you did just now. Scientists must be crazy in saying so. Maybe nowadays, people hold different opinions on healthy diet. Absolutely right. I myself sometimes believe that healthy eating is just about feeling great. As long as I have enough energy, it's fine. But one must have some basic ideas about nutrition and find the best way for the nutrients to work out for the body. I can't believe my eyes, Bill. Are you having a salad for lunch? No hamburger? Get used to it, Mary. I'm off hamburgers for good health. Most fast food is loaded with sodium. I know, but why are you suddenly interested in lessening your salt intake? My doctor says I should cut back on sodium-rich foods to lower my blood pressure. Do you have hypertension? I would have thought you were too young. Actually, my blood pressure isn't that high yet, but they say it increases with age. Well, I'm glad you're starting to pay more attention to your diet. I want to lower my risk of heart attack and stroke, too. So do I. That's why I've been trying to lower my cholesterol level. I've noticed you've been munching away on lots of fruits and vegetables recently. That's right. I could stand to lose a few pounds, too. Do you eat a lot of healthy food? Compared with healthy food, unhealthy food just tastes so much better. And anyway, I believe if you live a low-stress life and are active, you can get away with eating whatever you like. It's all in the mind. You have the point. I think cancer is by caused more worry than by the things we consume. Some good things you should try are cranberry juice, wild rice, and yogurt. What's special about these things? Cranberry juice is very good for destroying harmful bacteria in your guts because it's very acidic. Wild rice is high in fiber, so it's good for your guts, and it's high in protein and minerals.
I think it's also tastier than normal rice. Yogurt's good because it's also rich in protein, vitamins, and is also acidic. People have been making yogurt for thousands of years, and if you have it every day, your guts will be much more settled. Thanks. I'm going to follow your advice and pop down to the supermarket right now. Can I take your order? I'll take two value meals. What kind of drink do you want with those meals? One Coca-Cola and the other a Sprite, please. You can supersize your meals for only $3 extra. Yes, I'd like that then. How about anything for dessert, like an apple pie or ice cream? No, thanks. That will be it. I think I need some iced water, too. Is there an extra charge for that? Yes, we charge 50 cents for iced water. That's fine. Could you give me some more napkins, too? Sure. Do you need anything else? Yes. I would also like some sweet and sour sauce and pepper. I'll put all that into the bag for you. Do I owe you for the sauce, pepper, and napkins? No, there's no charge for those. May I help you? Give me a six-piece chicken nuggets, a large fry, and a large Coke. You need to wait a few minutes for the fries. They are still in the fryer. That's fine. Your total comes to $7. Here's a 20 note. Thank you. Your cash back is $13. Pull into a parking space and we'll bring out your fries in two minutes. Thanks. Good evening, Mr. Frank. Bourbon on the rocks? No, this time I'll try Chinese wine. What about Mao Tai, one of the most famous liquors in China? It's good indeed. It never goes to the head. Do people here drink a lot of liquors? Some do, some don't. Many people in the North are fond of liquors. I think it has something to do with the climate. Yes, it has. Some Mexicans are crazy. They drink a lot of liquors, even on hot days. Have you ever heard of tequila salsa? Yes. It's a very well-known kind of spirits in Mexico. People drink it with salt and lemon. Right. It's very strong, just like alcohol. Frank sips Mao Tai. Oh, it's good. Are there any other famous Chinese liquors? Yes. Besides Mao Tai, we have Wu Liang Ye, Fan Jiu, and so on. They say that Shaoxing wine tastes quite good. What's it? It's rice wine, a kind of still wine, somewhat like Japanese sake. Shaoxing is a city in China. I see. By the way, we also have some good red wine and white wine, such as Great Wall white wine. Thank you for telling me so much. I'll try them next time. I'm always at your service. What's all the security check about, Jimmy? Does it mean the bar may be a dangerous place? No, of course not. Just in case. Nothing to worry about. Don't you also do this in China? I don't know. Maybe the same. Actually, this is my first time being in a bar. Oh, then it's my honor to be here with you. I can see now why you've been so curious about the bar. You like this place? Sure. I love this place, especially the decoration. So tasteful. Yeah. Other than that, the real feature is the excellent drinks. Can I have your ticket? Here it is, but what for? We're already in. Well, with the ticket, you can get a free drink. What would you like? Orange juice? Yes, orange juice will be fine for me. But how can you get the drink? It's so crowded there around the counter. You can barely move. I'll show you how. The bartenders know whose turn it is. And also, I can snap my fingers to catch his attention. Cool. Thanks. Jimmy brings May a glass of orange juice. Oh, fresh juice? I love it. Well, I heard American people love hanging out in bars. 
Is that true? Not everyone, but a lot of people do, especially the young. It's a fine place to spend an evening with friends or to make some new friends. Interesting. Hey, look over there. The dance floor is already packed with people. Oh, the girl in red dances great. Yeah, a dancing queen. Want to go and join them? Maybe later. I want to take some photos first. Okay, let me help you to hold the drink. Thank you. Good morning, madam. What can I do for you? I'd like a coffee, please. Certainly, madam. What kind of coffee would you like? What have you got? Well, we have espresso, cappuccino, latte, skinny latte, and Americano. Goodness me, so many choices. I think I'll have a cappuccino, please. Here you are. You'll find the sugar just over there. What is your favorite coffee? Irish coffee is my favorite, but I'm not particular on it. All right. Would you make coffee yourself when you are at home? Not very often. Making coffee is a bit troublesome. Most of the time, I just buy takeout at Starbucks. And also, I quite like instant coffee. I think instant coffee is becoming more and more popular. Though its taste is not perfect, it's really cheap and convenient. Exactly. Nescafe is the world's favorite coffee. People love it all over the world. I agree. I heard that in the Western countries, almost everyone likes coffee. Is that true? Yes, no doubt about that. For us, coffee is more like a living style rather than a simple drink. I heard Chinese people don't drink that much coffee. No, we don't, especially the elder people. But more and more young people fall for coffee nowadays. I suppose so. That's probably why there are so many wonderful coffee houses in China now. Why do all girls appear feminine after sophomore year? Because they are full grown. Look at their curvy figures. I feel they all talk and behave in a different way. They suddenly become shy when they speak to boys. Some even do makeup slightly. Are you aware that previous small potato, Ma Xiao Xiao, becomes a piece of cheesecake recently? She is certainly not my kind of girl. Stop preaching your dream. Love Marilyn Monroe to me. I know those sexy women are your tastes. You are so platonic. Those naive girls will eventually grow into real women. They can't resist love, and men cannot resist their attraction either. I appreciate the saying, love consists in this, that two solitude protect, border, and salute each other. Do you have a girlfriend? Yes, why? Well, I came to know a girl three weeks ago. We have so much in common. So? So I think I may fall in love with her. That sounds great. But how do you know that's a crush or a real love? Then what's the difference between having a crush and falling in real love? That's a big question. Well. If you're in love, maybe you will take every opportunity to talk to her or telephone her for no reason at all. That's what I do. And you think about her all the time. Yes. And maybe you suddenly have new interests. I mean, you suddenly begin to do things you used to avoid. For instance, you used to sleep in every morning. But because she jogs every morning, then you begin to like jogging. That's it. She likes dogs so much now, and I begin to love dogs. Oh, congratulations. Sounds like you've found your soulmate. Thanks. But I know falling in love is one thing while staying in love is another. 
Yes, that's right. If you find this person becomes more and more important to you, and you can totally trust her, then you can stay in love. Yeah, falling in love is so good. You are married to a foreigner, aren't you? So what's it like? Well, in the first year of our marriage, we had great difficulties in getting along. The things that are important to me are not important to him. We had a lot of conflicts. Yeah, I know what you mean. The first year of any marriage is difficult for all couples, not to mention two people from different cultures. Now we have a two-year-old boy. We're very happy that he's healthy and smart. Oh, so he's half Chinese and half American. That's unusual. What languages does he speak then? Right now he speaks mostly English, and he can say a few Chinese words, but he will learn in the future. What does he look like? Can people tell? Yes, people surely can. He's whiter than the Chinese kids, and his hair is a little blonde. My husband says his eyes are very Chinese, though. Mary, how was your date with John? It's okay. It seems we have a lot in common. Oh, really? That is great news. What does he look like? He is tall and slim, fair-haired. Sounds like he's pretty cute. What do you think of him? He is a nice guy and very considerate. I am impressed with how smart he is, and he has a great sense of humor. Oh, it's love at first sight. When will you see each other again? He didn't say, but he said he would call me. Maybe he is busy with his work. Just wait and try not to think about it too much. Oh, David, stop it. I am a bit nervous. What should I do if he doesn't call me? Come on, Mary, you're a total catch. I bet he will call you. Don't worry. Thank you, David. You're always so encouraging. That's what friends are for.